In the meantime, a civil society organization, Democracy Watch Africa, has called for the banishment of Amnesty International, uh, claiming that it has an antecedent of creating these affections and these trust in all the countries where they have a presence. They said this is evident in their demeaning report and public statement about Nigeria on an annual basis. The call on Nigerians to renounce the revolution now protest as it is a covert campaign orchestrated by Amnesty International to the Deprive Nigerians of peace and progress. The Democracy Watch Africa wishes to bring to the attention of the Nigerians that the real protest should be against the expulsion of Amnesty International from Nigeria, whose presence in Nigeria has caused more harm, uh, more than good through their referral activities. Amnesty International has a history of causing disinfection and misgiving in all the countries that have offices and the case of Nigeria is not any different as evident in their yearly reports and public statements that have been critical of policies of the, of the government of Nigeria. They said the revolution now protest must be viewed as an act of terrorism against Nigeria, abolishing the federal government to expel Amnesty International from the country. The group also said revolution now protest leader should have registered his grievances at the tribunal before now, rather than staging a revolution which translates to a forceful takeover of government. Very easy. Show a context of president in the last election. People voted him out. They voted for President Buhari. He should go to the tribunal. But now, why is he not? Why is it? Why didn't he plan revolution even before the election? 